Brian Kelly didn't waste any time getting LSU back on track and getting them to be competitive in the SEC once again. They expect to win the SEC West, and we'll talk about 10 guys that can make that happen today. We start with a transfer portal addition in Omar Spates. The Oregon State transfer is an extremely athletic playmaker who could have a major impact on this defense. This is a talented defense with plenty of NFL talent, and Omar Spates could be the piece that they needed to put everything together. He is a natural playmaker, a smart playmaker, guy who can already be a leader for LSU and can put them in good position to win football games. And it was a great addition by Brian Kelly and his staff. Another player that fits in that category is Logan Diggs. The Notre Dame transfer comes in to a crowded running backfield. Running back, I think that you're you're looking at the running back group, and you think that there's so much talent already on this roster. Why add another one? Logan Diggs is a big time playmaker, and at six one two fifteen, it's almost hard to pass up on a guy like him. It's almost hard to think we don't need a player like him and. You know, there's there's talent on this roster, but injuries, academic concerns kind of thin that group out. So maybe you just need more depth. And if you can get a depth piece that can elevate your team as well, then why not? I don't see why that's a bad thing. I don't see why you wouldn't want to do that. And LSU obviously took a bite on Logan Diggs, and I think that was a solid addition by them. Another transfer portal player, Jordan Jefferson from West Virginia. This is a guy who probably flew under the radar at West Virginia because of the Mountaineer struggles, but this is someone who could be a big time playmaker and he will, it will join a group that we're going to talk about here in a trio here of defensive tackles that are going to have a major impact. And Jordan Jefferson is just one of those players. Another guy is Makai Wingo. The former Missouri transfer had a big year for LSU in 2022. And now he's hoping to take that to another level in 2023. He and Jefferson give teams plenty to worry about. And honestly, when you're looking at this group, there's a lot of depth in this group. There's a lot of depth in this front seven, and there's a lot of talent in this front seven. And Makai Wingo and Jordan Jefferson have the potential to be really good players. And when you look at also Mason Smith, you're looking at a lot of NFL talent. You're looking at some serious big time playmakers. And we kind of thought we'd see that from Mason Smith last year. And then obviously, Tears his ACL in the first game, so obviously he didn't play. But I think this coaching staff believes that he's back to where he needs to be. He is back to to the old self that we saw from him. And this is a player with first-round potential. This is a player who could be one of the best players in the SEC and in college football, someone who can be a disruptive force for this defense, someone who expects big things in 2023, and that will help a defense that has plenty of talent and has big goals for this team this year. We go to the offensive side of the ball and you have to talk about Jaden Daniels. To me, I'm probably not as high on Jaden Daniels as a lot of people, but I can see why people like him. I can see why it's exciting to watch him. And I can see why there is the potential for him to take this team to new heights. I'm still kind of weary on whether or not I think he has another level, but it's, it's, I can't deny the things that he did last year. You look at 2,900 yards, 17 touchdowns to just three interceptions. Reminds me a lot of his freshman year at Arizona State. He also led the team in rushing with 885 yards. He's a dual threat that provides plenty of challenges for the teams facing him. He provides a lot of opportunities for his own offense because of his ability to run the football. And if he can take a step forward as a passer, then LSU is in a great position to win the SEC potentially. Obviously, that's going to be very difficult beating Georgia, but this is a team with the talent to do it. I don't see why they shouldn't expect that. You're also going to have to win in the SEC West, which is still a gauntlet, even with Alabama taking a step back. You still have to beat, if Texas A&M is better, you have to beat them. You have to beat Ole Miss, Mississippi State. You have to still beat Alabama. You're still going to face all these teams, and you still have to beat them. So it's not going to be easy, but if Jaden Daniels has another level to him, then I think that you're looking at a team that can reach those goals that they have. One of the players that will benefit from Jaden Daniels taking a step forward and becoming a better quarterback is Malik Neighbors. One of the better stories, one of the underrated stories last year was Malik Neighbors' ability to move on from adversity. He had a rough first game against Florida State, had some critical turnovers, really one critical turnover, I should say. And he didn't he didn't let that affect him. He turned that into a thousand yard season, and I think that he could put up bigger numbers 
in 2023. Some of that hinges on what Jane Daniels can do, but this is still a player that has big goals, that has big time playmaking ability, and how he does could determine a lot in what LSU is in 2023. A player that was kind of thrown into the fire at offensive tackle is Will Campbell. When you play in the SEC, you're playing a lot of big time playmakers, a big time NFL talent. And Will Campbell at times did look like an 18 year old. He did look like a freshman that was just thrown into the fire. But towards the end of the year, I think he was really figuring things out. I think that he figured a lot of things out and he learned a lot from his failures and he learned a lot from playing in the trenches early on. That is something to keep an eye on. LSU's offensive line has a lot of potential, and Will Campbell could be a name that we need to pay attention to when the season heads into 2024. Now, a player that I don't think a lot of people are too high on, but it deserves to be high on this list, Mason Taylor. The son of Jason Taylor has big-time playmaking ability and maybe won't put up the biggest numbers like a Malik Neighbors will, but he is someone who has a future in the NFL, whether that's as a blocker or as a pass catcher, you're looking at someone who can make a major impact on this LSU football team, on this LSU offense. And it'll be exciting to see what that means for this team in 2023, be able to utilize a tight end opens up so many opportunities for your offense, for your rushing attack, for your wide receivers, for your quarterback. It gives you that flexibility to open up the field and create mismatches by putting certain players in certain positions. And Mason Taylor could be one of those guys that gives LSU exactly what they need to get better. The best player on this team, hands down, is Harold Perkins. And when you look at the flashes last year, you'd like to see him do more consistently. It's hard to argue with a 13 tackle for loss, seven sack season. And now you see him kind of moving back to that stand-up linebacker position. But I think that he is going to still be utilized in the pass rush. He will be utilized in so many different ways, and it will be better for his skill set. I just really like what Harold Perkins can do. He's going to be one of the best players in college football this year. He will be one of the best college football players in 2024 as well. And LSU is obviously lucky to have him. This is a defense that has plenty of talent. The secondary is maybe where you might have some questions, but there's a ton of talent still on that part of the ball too. The offense obviously needs to figure certain things out. Who is going to be the running back? Can Jane Daniels take that step forward as a passer? Those are the biggest questions there. But this is a team that enters the year with big goals, with big expectations. And it's easy to see why with the talent, it's just a matter of, are they the kings of the SEC West and can they win a national championship and overcome some of those talented teams that they'll face this year?